guys, it's Jonah here. Welcome to another Supermarket Sunday and we're into the new era. We're into the second year of Supermarket Sunday. Well, this is episode 53, so uh, yeah, shamo. Um, last week, um, we created a bit of division because some people really liked the beer that I reviewed and some people really didn't like it. So as a, I think it was Mr. Ant Rogerson, shamo to you, pointed out it's a, it's a Marmite beer. It's one of those beers that you either love or you hate. So well called, sir. That was a really good one. Um, now, I'm taking a tiny bit of a liberty, but I have done such a liberty before. So this week, we're looking at this one. Kew Gardens Honey Ale. And this is from the Kew Gardens shop. Um, and it's made by Twickenham Fine Ales, who I have a real soft spot for. Look at that black bottle, couple of bees on the top that forms a kind of weird, looks almost like a clown face on there with the two eyes, the nose and the mouth. Um, quite classic in black. I do like the old black bottles. I haven't got a logo on the top, I'm afraid to say, but hey, never mind. Um, this is 4.8% on the old ABV and you've got a 500 ml bottle. It does say on here, serve cool between 10 to 12 degrees Celsius. So yeah, we can do that one, I'm sure. Um, and I have done one of these in the past and it was quite good. So let's crack this bad boy open. I think if I remember rightly, you cannot get this beer anywhere apart from on the Kew Gardens, turn it around that way so you can see the label, um, from the Kew Garden shop. I don't even think you can get this from uh, Twickenham Fine Ales. Um, and I've been to their brewery a few times. I suggest you go to both. Kew Gardens does not cost one penny anymore to get into. It's about 15 quid, I think, last time I went. Um, here we go. But please, please go to Twickenham Fine Ales. They are a fantastic bunch of guys there. Um, there we go. Look at that, that's a corker, isn't it? Look at that colour. That is a lovely, lovely colour. Look at that really, really kind of ambery in colour. Nice kind of head on there, very small. We're looking, ooh, a couple of fingernails head. And I think from the look of it, can you guys see that? It's gonna disappear quite quickly. Although, have a look. We have got a bit of carbonation in there. Let's go in for an aroma. Oh, this is sweet, almost like a kind of, like a wine or maybe even a sherry kind of sweetness. Can I get the honey aroma? Not really. I'm getting real sweetness, but it's it sort of, it gives something away and it's a, that sherry kind of cast wood aroma, you know, maybe a hint of tobacco in there as well. Honey? Not really. This, I don't think, is going to be like a honeydew or something along those lines. Anyway, guys, it's thirsty work this supermarket Sunday, so we better get cracking with some drinking. Oh, up front, sweet like a mead, then we get that sherry. Then we get a bit of a bit of hop bitterness, perhaps. And that kind of draws out, it's quite smooth. And right on the finish is the honey again. So it goes sweet, bitter, and then lingering sweetness in the in, in the tail. This does not taste like your normal honey drink. This has definitely got a lot of maltiness in there, which which is obviously apparent from that colour. Let's tilt the glass because I can now. Look at that colour. Very clear, but can you see much through there? That is a conker. I would call that a conker colour. Oh, that this is a this is a fantastic beer. Very complex. Very strange too. To go in for a second. Oh. 
gets that sweet cherryness, then into quite a bitter, I'm not sure what hops they use, but quite a bitter beer. But then that gets juxtaposed at the end. So it's weird, sweet on the lips as well. You, this tastes like if you got a honeycomb, you stuck, hopefully, and there's no bees there, you stuck your finger in there, pulled it out, dripping in the, the raw honey. That is the kind of upfront taste of the beer, but it gets super bitter, really, really gets a super bitter. Um, hops. Now, I know for a fact that they don't. Or they didn't used to like putting a lot of, um, how shall we say, uh, British, traditional British hops. But this definitely has the kind of fogglesy kind of, maybe even a goldingsy kind of taste. <coughs> Pardon me, wow, lots of carbonation on that mofo. Let's see if we can get a get a thing on there. Strong beer, da -da 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 -da, full of flavour, dark malts. Second fermented with honey, right, so that makes sense. Uh, do, 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 do. It says it has chocolate caramel toffee. I don't. I wouldn't get that. I'd say that is definitely a honey sweetness, but this does make sense. So if they made a very dark, very, very dark sort of, or not quite a porter, I mean, what would you call that? Very dark amber, amber ale or red ale perhaps? Very dark, and then once it's fermented out, then they probably pour it on top of some honey so it agitates and mixes but without disturbing without oxidizing the beer because this is i mean very very nice secondary fermented with honey that gets it up to the strength this this is one nice beer this has definitely got substance you can tell if you were offered this beer you might not tell at up front that it was a honey beer but you would tell that this is a very very good um how should we say craft beer i hate saying that word but it's a craft beer that hasn't been stripped down that hasn't been watered down if you know what i mean oh. this is one to savor this is one to I would say this is not a summer beer. This is one to sit by the fireside in autumn, not winter. I'd say just just as we're turning into autumn, this would do nicely by the first fireside of the year. <laughs> Maybe I'll try and get another one of these and have it later on in the year. See how well we do. Anyhow, this has been Uncle Jonah, whoop, turning it that way around, reviewing the Kew Gardens Honey Ale. Get yourself one of these if you're down in Kew Gardens. Go there for a picnic with the family. Have one of these and make sure you save it. I wouldn't have it this time of year. I'd save it until, I'd say September is the time for this beer, but it's an absolute winner. Guys, been Uncle Jonah here, doing another Supermarket Sunday. If you like what I've said and you want to hear more, please click like and please click subscribe down below because otherwise you might forget to check next Sunday. <laughs> Take care guys, cheers and beers and until then I'm going to savour this one.